Modern man has developed many faults. The most serious fault is that he's been trying to detach himself from nature. He is himself a part of nature and depends on the rest of it for his own survival. By mistreating nature, he is simply moving closer to destroying himself. The steadily increasing threat of overpopulation leaves him little time in which to act. The polluted environment with which he has blessed himself leaves him little space to manipulate. His increasing abuse of nature leaves him little to be proud of. If mankind is to survive, this situation must change. I would like to tell you about an animal that lives in the oceans, the whale. I doubt many of you realize it, but what you have been listening to are the songs of whales. The whale is an incredible animal. What other animal can you tell me that can do 40 ton backflips and sing? This was recorded in the open oceans and is being studied by many marine scientists around the world today. Whales are not only singers, but also irrepressible composers. They may be the only animal besides man for which this is true. They are constantly changing their song in little ways. Each week the song gets a few new touches and by the end of a year the song has been replaced by a new one. This has been scientifically shown and is one example of the whale's intelligence. It has been said that the whale is more intelligent than man in some ways. They are also gentle and harmless, not the aggressive boat-smashing giants that was thought of a hundred years ago. There's something else you should know about whales. They're being hunted to extinction. In 1930, there were estimated to be 40,000 blue whales in the oceans. Today, there are less than 2,000. In less than half a century, we have cut their population by 95%. In less than half a century, we have turned 60 million years of history into margarine and cat food. At the present rate, there is one whale killed every 12 minutes. That is two during this service, and three more for each lesson you sit through this morning. Think about it. In the past few years, Science has come to show us that our old ideas are not acceptable. They just accentuate to the degree to which we are all involved in the control of life on Earth. This is not our playground to do with as we please. If we are not very careful, we will only have ourselves to blame for an ugly, polluted, joyless world. At present, it's man against nature a battle which nature is losing, but a battle which man is simply bound to lose in the long run. It's up to us to do something and save not merely the world, but ourselves. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We just cannot misuse nature and get away with it. I would like to read a poem. Who am I to take breath, to forge such beauty into power, to steal life itself? I exist as a tiny part of it all, a speck of life. Yet I have the power to silence the seas. I can destroy the monuments of life, kings of water as they leap laughing into my world. Can I condemn such grace forever, so that I may improve for a moment? Spilling life onto metal mountains, staining the blue-red, to call myself ruler of my melting masterpiece. We ask you to think about this while we play you this song. 